Deep beneath the frostback mountains sits Orzammar, largest and proudest of the two remaining dwarven cities. Once the seat of an underground empire, Orzammar now stands alone, cut off from the world by the darkspawn, still clinging to the memory of its former glory. Below the vast statues and gilded halls where the noble families play at politics, the lower castes live in their shadows, scurrying to serve like their ancestors before them. Below that is you. You are castless, the dirty secret staining Orzammar's perfect society, forced, along with your sister, to sell your services to the crime lord Barat. To the rest of Orzammar, you are proof that the castless deserve their fate. But you know you do what you have to, the same as everyone, just to survive. I can't keep gambling on you forever, precious. You've got a sweet look, something to light a man on fire. But you gotta make it count. Please, Barat, can we not do this in front of my brother? Why not? He knows the slope of the land, don't you, boy? Listen to the kid. He knows the deal you made. He lays low and does whatever jobs I don't want to risk anyone valuable on. In return, I put out coins so you can doll yourself up and get a belly full of some nobleman's brat. Then you both go free. And I get to join the family and be called my lord for the rest of the little prince's life. Well, unless I start seeing results, we're going to renegotiate. I'm giving you another week, precious. If you haven't found a patron, you're back to sweeping streets. But I have. I've met someone. That is, I didn't want to promise, but he seemed interested. It's nothing definite, but he... he said he wanted to see me again. Excuse me if I don't start knitting booties. Until I do, you're the one who's going to keep paying her debts with your service to the Carta. Good guess. Your buddy Lesky's waiting outside. He knows what I'll need from you today. Don't even think about bungling this job. Your whole family's on loose sand with me right now. And I know you don't have anywhere else to turn. I'm sorry you had to see that. I know. You've always been a good brother. Always tried to protect me. I should have told you. Barat's been warning me ever since two of his other girls found patrons at Lord Harrowmont's reception. They've been getting gifts already. Lord Rooston gave Elsie a surface silk gown and she's not even pregnant. Barat's getting impatient. You've worked hard to keep him from throwing us out. I can only imagine the horrible things he's made you do. But there are a lot of desperate dwarves in Orzammar. He could buy any one of them to run messages and knock skulls. Money gives him power. He's got family on the surface, which means he can smuggle up lyrium and smithcrafts and bring down silks, wines, and furs. And he played it smart. When he started expanding, he made sure it was only the castless he shook down for protection, so the guardsmen didn't care. Don't underestimate him. Barat has thugs who'd kill their own mothers just to work for him. As far as the nobles are concerned, he still stinks of Dust Town. He's got money now, but you can't buy caste, you know? No noblewoman would risk a dalliance with him. His only chance to join a noble family is to claim kinship with a concubine who bears a noble son. 
And that's what he wants more than anything. Don't you? Imagine what it would be like not to have people look at us like we're sewer sludge. To think our lives are worth something. It wouldn't be the first time. Garalon the Blood Risen was born castless, you know, before he went to the surface. And he came back and won the throne. Many paragons have humble origins. All that matters is that the Assembly recognizes their achievements. And once they get that vote, they found their own house, and are as noble as if the ancestors themselves had made it so. So what are you standing around here for? Go do something great. Oh, don't pay attention to her. She's just a bitter old drunk. She also said you'd never learn to walk or stop dumping in the bed. Make something of yourself just to spite her. It's sheer folly. One more way the nobles protect their status. They say castless soldiers are more danger to each other than to Darkspawn. That it's an insult to the smith to let us touch a fine-made weapon. Truly, they just don't wish to insult the warrior caste by showing that given the same opportunities, we could lead an army just as well. I have little love for the nobles, but they know, more than we ever will, what the Darkspawn have taken from our kind. Every noble I've met has had a brother or a nephew killed in the deep roads. Yet they let their arrogance blind them to the fact that we could help defend the city against the Darkspawn. Aye. They would even turn to humans for aid before us, it seems. There's been talk of an alliance against the Darkspawn. Even that the Grey Wardens have stepped up. But we don't have time for this now. Lesky must be waiting. And Barat won't like it if I'm late for my appointment. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you tonight. About sodding time. I was starting to think I'd have to bust in and get an eyeful of that spicy sister of yours. Garow. But no hot-blooded dwarf can help himself. Those perfect lips, just made to be screaming my name. You must have had a few naughty thoughts yourself, huh? What do you say? You know I'm kidding. It's strictly hands-off with me and Rika. But as much as I'd love to keep chatting, we'd better get down to business. Boss says we're out for a search and discipline. One of his smugglers is holding out on him. Name's Oskias, some surfacer. Barat got word that he's been selling shipments topside that never make it to Barat's ears down here. He wants us to find the rotter and see what goods he's holding back. You know, gold, lyrium, spices. Anything that Barat might cut someone's head off to get. All he told me is find him. Duster's got some family from the merchant cast. He's probably staying near their quarters. Well, if he is skimming, we kill him, of course. I mean, Barat doesn't let anyone swindle him and live. Bringing his head on a plate is completely optional, though. Whatever lets you sleep at night, my friend. Hey there, Carter boy. Care to try a taste of this? Anyone you like? Spare silver? My boy needs...
What are you doing here, Brand? Lesky, you old scamp. What are you doing here? Trying to charm me out of another set of ribbons for your girl? Trying to talk you into being my girl, Olinda. You know my heart's breaking for you. Don't you go saying that around my husband. Who's your friend? You're welcome to look around. I'll slide on the markup since you're Lesky's friend, but I can't give anything away for free. Sorry, lover. Guess it's not meant to be. Get out of here, then, before that silver tongue gets you in real trouble. Great prices on all arms and this armor, like they were crafted by the... Do you mind? I have nothing you can afford, and as long as you're here, no one else will come. Same as you. It's illegal for me to walk here without one. I'm from the surface, so by the law of assembly, I'm castless. But I think of the brand as just a part of the license to bend my wares. I use a washable ink, and when I return home, it's gone first thing. I cannot imagine wanting to wear the beastly thing every day. If you were on the surface, you could open a shop, claim land, and start a farm, and get legally married by the human chantry. Orzammar is the only place in the world that will treat you like this. Yet you all stay. I'll never understand it. And what has the stone done for you? At least on the surface, you won't be rejected by your fellow dwarves. It always seems sad to me that our homeland is the one place in this world where you're likely to be killed by a fellow dwarf. Now, unless you're gonna buy something, I need to unload and get home before the rain sets in. That's water from the sky, by the way. I hope you make better luck for yourself in the future. Watch yourself. The Shaper doesn't need your footprints all over his clean clothes. I happen to be doing the personal washing of the third assistant to the Shaper of Memories. He's from House Harrowmont, you know. It took my mother five years of sewing dresses for the head maid to get me noticed. Mother tells me they never considered a single other candidate when the position opened for underwasher. It's barely under the king himself. They control Orzammar's memories. They oversee births, marriages, death records, histories, everything we do or are. Except you, I guess. Castless and criminals aren't allowed in a Shaper's presence. Whatever horrid deviants you're descended from were written out of the histories and deemed unworthy to join the ancestors. Obviously, they bred anyway, but their children can't possibly deserve the same protections as those who were legitimately born. I am not castless. I am an honorable member of the servant caste. I serve my betters as is my place, decided by the ancestors who granted my mother my birth. I am not a criminal. They control Orzammar's memories. They oversee births, marriages, death records, histories, everything we do or are. Except you, I guess. Castless and criminals aren't allowed in a Shaper's presence. As if I'd stop for you. Go back to your dirt pile, scum. I assume this pile of worthless junk belongs to you? Do you realize it's in the way and that the patrols will not be able to come through? Move it, or I shall have it thrown out in the deep roads, and you with it. I'm so sorry, my lord, but they told me to move my goods over here. I, I couldn't even set up shop in my usual place. Nonsense. 
It's true. Uh, they said that the servants needed to polish the floors on that side of the commons in preparation for the new commander's first commission. Hmm, yes. The new Idukan commander's feast is tomorrow, isn't it? Ugh. I suppose it can't be helped then. Very well. You may leave your goods here. Ancestors were smiling on my bets today. Another round from the They house. say the warrior cast is hosting a proving so the Grey Wardens can look for candidates. Hey, I was saving that seat. That's real thoughtful, Ascaius. It's tiring work looking for you. H how do you know my name? Oh no, you're not from Barat, are you? Because that would be too much. I don't think I could handle it. You mean you're not here to kill me? Look, I, I always been loyal to Barat. He's been good to my family. I, I know how much I owe him. Keep him still. I'm gonna search his bags. Wait, I do have some lyrium. It's just ore. I, I made a side deal with one of the mining families. If it worked out, I was gonna bring Barat his cut, I swear. I, I'd be crazy not to. Suicidal, one might say. Just a little. Maybe 25 sovereigns worth. 25 sovereigns? Most of that's with my buyers on the surface. I just picked up a few nuggets down here. If I were to maybe give you a piece, that's, that's, that's a lot of coin. Could you, uh forget to mention this to Barad? No! I'll give it back! I'll find more! I'll get Barat double what he can make in a year! Triple! I swear! Just... please don't kill me. Not long. I mean, I I'm not cheating him. I mean, this is my first time. Oh, please don't kill me. I've got a lot of lyrium. Maybe we could work something out. Share and share alike. I, I, I don't got any coin myself. I, I make that topside, but you can take the ore, sell it, maybe get enough to get out of this nest. What do you say? I got buyers up top who'll take me down fast if I turn up empty. Please, I, I can give you one nugget. Th that's a lot of silvers. With pleasure. Could everyone who isn't about to die please turn around for a moment? This may be unpleasant. Thank you. Y you can't do this! Help! Call the guardsmen! This is murder! You two let me know if you need anything. I'll be in the back. It's, it's just a bunch of rocks. You're gonna kill me for that? Then let me go. Tell Barat you killed me. I can run to the surface. He's never got to hear of me again. I'll give you the lyrium. Do whatever you want with it. Give it to Barat. Sell it yourself. I don't care. I I'll get out of the business. Open a, a dry goods shop. He'll never know I'm still alive. Please. What would you want if it was you? No! Very well. Ah! 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 Ah!
skill has won the day. We have to get this stuff back to Barat before he starts wondering what we've been doing. It has begun. The king is old. His rule won't hold much longer. Prince Balin seems far more sympathetic to our interests than Trian. Balin has some tastes of his own that he knows I can provide. We'll finish this later. It's about time you two showed up. What happened with Ascaius? One lousy nugget. You want me to believe that's all he got off with? He said he kept most of it topside. That was all he had on him. Very interesting. Seeing how my cousin happened to be at the Tapsters this afternoon. And he says he saw more than one lyrium nugget changing hands before that duster hit the tiles. Jarvia, search them. They got anything that looks like more coin than they're worth? Take it. I'm going to give you one more chance, one job. You split on this one, and you and your sweet sister are both out on the street. You're catching on. The Warrior cast is hosting a proving today. All the best fighters, last man standing, you know the sort of thing. They're showing off for some Grey Warden who's looking for candidates to drag off to a life of eternal glory. Now, it's not often we get every name fighter in Orzammar lined up like that. And I have certain acquaintances who take an interest in this sort of thing. Are you out of your big hollow skull? No brands allowed to hold steel in the proving ring. It would be an insult to the ancestors. Not to mention the conceit of the warrior cast. I just want you to make certain the right man wins. There's a lot of coin to be made when people get the fever up. Favorite fighter's an officer named Minar, veteran of four darkspawn campaigns. Everd's a long shot. Just got back from a deep roads offensive. Some young buck who has all the ladies drooling. I've got a lot of money riding on him. Mine and other people's. I expect to see that eight to one pay off. Understand? The fight only gets announced to contestants themselves to prevent illegal gambling. So first, you'll have to find a Verd. See who he's fighting and when. When the name Minor comes up, I want you to slip this drug into the bastard's water. It'll slow his reflexes, just enough to take the edge off, not enough to show. But it wears off quickly, so don't use it until just before his fight. He's the kind of warrior who wants to show off his oiled physique to a cheering crowd. You think he wants scum like us making money on him? Don't let him know what you're doing. Just find his chamber, see when he's fighting, then go to Minor and dump the drug. I'm not asking you to distill it, just drop it into a basin. That's all you need to know. It'll be in the big arena north of the commons. Normally castless aren't allowed on the grounds, but I got you a pass. It says you're there to clean up the waste trenches, not to watch the fights, so don't look conspicuous. The fight only gets announced to contest.
It'll slow his reflexes. You bet you will. Here's your pass to get on the grounds. The proving starts as soon as the clock strikes. And when I say I have coin on this, I'm not talking about some pittance, like the value of your life. If I don't see a Verd's name on the winner's sheet, you'd better make sure I never see you or your sister ever again. Turn around, Brand. No castless on the grounds. Hmm. Looks legitimate. Go on through, then. But stay to the trenches. Grey Wardens don't need some eyesore getting between them and the fighters. Did you see that? I made it to third showing in one of these. You may not think it to look at me, but I was a great soldier once. Sod it. He's stone drunk. He could draw a dead man for his bout and still lose. Oh, Barat's gonna kill us if we slip up on this. He's still mad about the time I accidentally told that barkeep Barat had demanded free ale delivered to my door. Hey, I just had an idea. So, you've been rubbing my nose at how you're the meanest thing with a blade, right? If Aird's armor is over there, and you're about the same size. You've got a heart of steel, Salraka. Get in the armor. Bout three is next. Officer Minar versus the warrior of Air. Fighters, report to the ring. No more time. Make sure you have everything and go tell the Proving Guard you're ready to fight. And don't forget to keep your helmet down. Where are you going? We can't leave now, Barat will kill us! Stone met, Averd. I believe it is time for your bout. May fortune favor your fight, Averd. Are you ready? As you say. This is a glory proving, fought under the watchful eyes of the Paragons of Ozomar, for our honored guests, the Grey Warden. The warrior Averd, son of Galton, will fight Officer Minar. Survivor of the battle at Car Ellerin. You honor me with this fight. May the stone show the boldest heart through the strongest arm. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! 
truly memorable fight. The young cadet vanquishes the wily veteran. Healer, see to his injuries. The warrior Evaird, son of Golton, will fight last year's journeyman division champion, Adalbo, proven in glory before the stone. You honor me with this fight. May we both win glory in the eyes of our lords. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The ancestors have withdrawn their blessings and embrace a new champion on their field. The warrior of Air, son of Galton, will fight Lenka, silent sister in training. She has made her vows, but not completed her blooding. Will she be accepted into the legendary order? That will depend on her performance today. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Watch out! For the fools, they. Eh? I shall do it. Okay. <laughs> the winner is Ivan! Linka went to the stone without a sound, as befits her vows. But it wasn't hard to see the blood that was spilled. Evaird will advance to the final bout to determine the true champion of the ring against... What? Time out already? Hey! That's my armor! Who are you? How dare you disrupt this sacred... Wait, I know that man. That's Everd. Then what imposter did I fight? Remove your helmet, warrior, and let all who watched you see your face. Your skills are impressive, but you are one man. Show yourself, lest I call the guards and have them do it for you. Insult the very nature of this proving! Guards, take this filth away! Hold your man, I pray you. This warrior has defeated the best you have to offer. Is that not what this proving is for? We are honored by your presence, Warden. But this proving is not solely for you. There are laws which have governed this arena for a thousand years. This man is no warrior! He is castless, rejected by the ancestors. His very footsteps pollute the stone. He has no place here. Except as your champion.
Are you awake yet? Psst. Can you hear me? How hard did they sodding hit you anyway? Did you have to put up such a fight? As soon as everyone saw your face, Brand, the place went mad. Shut all the doors, examined everyone for family and caste. One of the guards recognized me and figured we must be working together. They burned three candles to the stump interrogating me about who put us up to this. I think they knew, you know, about Barat. Huh. I guess not. I mean, I've been in most of them. They don't usually have... this many bloodstains on the walls. Uh... Any chance you see a way out? Good, you're awake. Barat will be glad to hear that. Get you out? Who do you think put you in? You caused a lot of trouble today. Barat lost a hundred sovereigns for Lord Volney. The entire proving was declared invalid, and the Assembly already called for an investigation. You can't imagine the state Barat was in when he told me to get you. All he needs to know is that you exposed him before the entire warrior cast. Now they're asking questions, and as long as you have tongues to answer them, you're a threat. Enjoy your last night together, boys. Barat will be by soon to make sure you maintain your silence. Leave off with your noise. You're giving me a headache. Where? I don't see nothing wrong. She... Hey, what the... Shall be done. I shall do it. Very well. Wanna get away with this? We can't leave one man alive to tell Barat what we've done.
It has begun. If we want to get away with this, we can't leave one man alive to tell Barat what we've done. I shall do it. Enemies approaching! No quarter shall be given! Very well. It has begun. I shall do it. Our skill has won the day! Shall be done. As you say. Very well. I'm cutting the whore free. If that turncoat brother of hers doesn't know his place, I don't need precious Rika either. Rika? That the one you got all done up in lace? I've been wanting to get my hands on that. Heh. <laughs> I know what you mean. She's yours if you want her, boys. And let me tell you, it tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> what in sod all is that doing out of its cage? Let's teach this little duster a lesson. Enemies approaching! Quickly, we must fight! It shall be done. Did you see him there all when we're done with you? And you just charged in and sodding slaughtered him! You have to be the luckiest duster in Orzammar. Barat's dead, and we're standing here! Hail to the Sodding King! Oh, he was begging, all right. That look of utter surprise on his face when he tasted his own blood. That was as close to begging as Barat gets. Whoa. Don't push it, Salraka. Barat kept his place by making sure it was always dusters like us who took the fall. Right now, half of Orzammar knows who you are. We've got to lay low for a while. I'm trying to make sure you don't do something stupid. Maybe in a long time, when everyone's forgotten what happened today, we can see who's left to challenge us. And maybe, if Barat's family topside doesn't figure out who killed him, 
They'll keep doing business with us, and maybe we'll be able to figure out which mining family stocked the Carta with Lyrium. And then maybe we'll have the chance to take over. Until then, let's just get out of here. As you say. There they are! Seize the fugitives! Drop your weapons and walk down slowly. We will use force if you resist. He's dead? Barat had many enemies, but also powerful allies. They... Barat would have butchered us if he hadn't killed him first. Your friend has once again demonstrated his courage. We Grey Wardens travel far and wide in search of those with the potential to join our ranks. It seems I have found one. Let me make my offer formal. I, Duncan of the Grey Wardens, extend the invitation for you to join our order. This man is a criminal. You can't do this. I can, and I am. It would mean traveling to the surface lands and thus leaving your people, but it does offer you the chance to strike a blow against the Darkspawn and the Blight. While it is no trick, it is a dangerous life. I can promise you no guarantee of safety. I can also give you nothing in return for these hazards. In joining me, you leave all you know behind. Then before these witnesses, I hereby recruit you into the Grey Wardens. Know that you are most welcome. This is highly irregular. The warrior families will be most upset. Look at you, you duster. A warden. And to think I knew you when you were stealing bread. We must be off to meet the King of Ferelden, and quickly. Do you have any goodbyes to say? Then do so. And return to me as soon as you can. I can't believe you're really leaving. And as a Grey Warden. When Sir Duncan said he wanted to recruit you, I almost fell over. When I heard you were arrested, I rushed to the arena. But by then you were gone, and Sir Duncan was telling everyone they had to find you. This has been a lucky day for both of us. I spent the afternoon with my new patron. If everything works out, maybe I can even greet you as an equal if you return. Yes. He calls me his Amber Rose. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? He has a voice like a poet. He has already promised to move Mother and me into better lodging, where he can find me more quickly when he wants me. I am. Truly. I could never make a life fighting Darkspawn. But if I can bear a son who makes his house proud, that's all I can ask. Go, little brother. Make the world a better place. I cannot believe Duncan would offer You're lucky they didn't execute you on the spot. From dust town to the Grey Wardens. You don't watch out, Selraka, you'll end up a paragon. And then I'll never hear the end of it. Now I know you've lost your senses. There's nothing to miss here. Now get out of here. Before the Warden realizes what you're like without all that armor. Get going already. Before I... I am glad you were able to speak once more with those who care for you. Now we must be off to Ostagar. Are you ready to go? Eager to leave, are we? So be it. Before we brave the deep roads, I would like to make you a gift of this mace, since you have so few possessions of your own. It was once wielded by the Warden Foral Idukan. I believe he was related to your king. I know you will continue his proud example. Goodbye, my friends, and thank you for your hospitality.
We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. It's good to see one of the honorable stout folk outside Audemars. I've always wanted to learn more. Perhaps you could enlighten me sometime. I do. I'll make sure to have the finest dwarven brew brought up from the palace cellars. After we've dealt with the blight, of course. I've been to Orzammar. King Endrin invited my father to a grand proving long ago. How does Endrin fare these days? Ah. Still, I hope to be as wise and fair a ruler as Endrin. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Overconfident, some would say. Right, Duncan? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the Blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true Blight. There are plenty of Darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an Archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the Tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn Horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an Archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feeling. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to.